So a relatively common request as a video editor is to do a fade to black. Now um, this can be done quite easily in Final Cut and I'll show you how. So um, I've got my timeline here and I've opened up the transitions tab which you can do by clicking this button here. And if I come down to dissolves you can see some of the different dissolve options we have in Final Cut. Now the first one is cross dissolve and this is the default transition Final Cut uses. And we can see if I use it on a clip at the end of my project, it fades to black. So job done. Well, not quite. If I move it to be in the middle of the project, you can actually see it's a fade through. So we're not fading to black anymore. So um, we need to use a different transition. And the one to use is fade to color. So I'll click that over hover over the top and let go and now it's replaced that transition with a fade to colour. Now you can see it's already doing a fade to black here but if I did want to fade to another colour like fade to white I'll just come out of that um, I can come up select the transition here and you can see in the inspector um, I can choose which colour I want to fade to so here I'll say white and now we've got a fade to white. Now a common thing that people want to do with the fade to black is actually hold that black for a while before fading back up again. So let's see how we do that. Now the easiest way is that we need some content between these two. So we've got a couple of options for what we can do here. Uh, the first is to come up to our generators tab and put in a solid generator custom by default is black so we can drag that in um, it started out too big so if we just shorten that down a bit and add our fade to colors before and after we've now got a hold between the two clips the other option for doing this is rather than using a generator, you can actually just use a, a gap. Um, so there's actually a handy shortcut. Um, if you do Alt W, um, it will add in a a wedge clip. Uh, it will add in a um, a gap. So um, you can just adjust that gap to be the duration you want. And another keyboard shortcut here, Command D, sorry, Command T. We'll add transitions before and after the shortcut. And you can see now that we have our fade through black. 